Hey, what is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping and thank you for tuning in to another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I appreciate every single one of you guys that stop by and share some time with me here on the channel. Now today's video we are going to be doing a full landscape tear out and installation. I'm going to be bringing the camera along hopefully to get some footage of it. Um, so we have some equipment. I don't know if you can see back there behind me. Right in there. Got some equipment back there. But we're also going to be using um, some new handheld equipment. Uh, not sure if that's going to be in this video or if I'm going to do a separate video with that handheld equipment. But nonetheless, we got to get going. I had to stop by the house to pick up a couple things. Um, and this landscape install is literally just right around the corner. So guys, stick around, stay tuned, enjoy this video. Let's get going. Alrighty guys, we just pulled up to the job site. Let me show you what we got going on here and then it is time to get to work. As you can see here is our piece of equipment here, a little Teramite. Front loader bucket, back on the back so we can rip these shrubs out. All right through there. Means I need the bucket. We gotta get all this grated back out. So, rip these out. Put that out there, keeping that. But, this is the landscape install now. Now if you do remember, earlier in the season, we was at that house right there and did landscape install. So pretty excited, ready to get this going. All of our plant material, back here, holly, boxwoods, lyrope, uh, wajelia, hosta, uh, daylily. So it's all gonna be pretty good. So we're gonna get the camera up, get the rock and rolling on this project. Let's get it going. So as you guys can see here, um, it's not working out too well. I don't know if the equipment was just so light to where the force of trying to rip these out with this um, just wasn't enough. When I would drop the supports down, it would just lift up the rear end even farther. So this equipment was basically I wouldn't say it's a waste of money because I end up using it here later, but for what I mainly rented it for, it did not serve the purpose. So when in doubt, we, uh, we get the track.
areas you've seen the equipment is not really suitable for ripping all of that out I just wanted to shift the equipment so we just hooked up to the back of the truck and yanked them all out so now we're going to come in with that though as you can see we need to grade this out we need to get a lot of this out so we're going to scoop it up throw it in the in the dump trailer and get it all hauled away here all right so we have this all graded out now we got our fabric our plastic we're about to be putting down got this leveled out pretty good um they have stone pavers that they're going to be putting down and around this so um i'll probably just tighten that edge up for them but uh yeah so it's time to get this plastic down get everything laid and then we'll start mapping out this uh mapping out these plants all right so this is the aftermath sorry wife's birthday so wanted to get this knocked out so we got a box with the back autumn do we see them houses in the front Argelia, Lyrope, they're in the front. Um, there we have, oh, I'm drawing a blank, Holly, um, female in the middle. So that way uh, we produce berries. And that's the males on that side. Then we have some daylily right there in the bottom to fill that in. So tomorrow we'll just be mulching. We'll be all wrapped up. All right, guys, just a little transition here. We are the second day of this job. Um, a little, not really a rough start to the morning, but it wasn't the best. Sorry for the sun. It's right there. Um, I got to the shop this morning, realized I forgot my wallet, had to drive all the way back to the house, um, which was only about a 15-minute drive, but go all the way basically back to where I was here at the mulch yard to go where the install is, which is right like 30 seconds from my house. So, uh, so anyways, let me show you the debris we got here. Brush, then just the excess topsoil old mulch. So we gotta get this all unloaded and uh, get to rocking and rolling. We got two yards of mulch one in here. Um, then we can finish this job up. So let's get this stuff unloaded.
again. We're leaving this section there open so they can put their border stones up how they want them. <laughs> 